no mooring because it's a conservation area. Okay. Quite a bit of new build in this conservation area. of Aslan and the Gent, have you seen their travels before? Well did you know that they're back again and cruising the canals once more? Sold up, downsized for a minimalised alternative life afloat. Going boldly where thousands have been before, one man, one life, one boat. What? Seven days? No. It's a mirage. I don't believe it. Oh well, that's another one on the list. I've said all along on this trip that my Nicholson guide is 20 years old and there's been no sign of these lift bridges so I'd say they're long gone and replaced with more permanent structures. Bridge 240 and about three quarters of a mile to the end. Q, what's that all about? Uh, Q is for quiet, right. I suppose we'll soon uh, be coming up to a B zone. No breathing. Bloody hell. Well, cover me in peanut butter. Aristotle Lane Visitor Moorings. Wow. Only two days, and I can't run my generator. But I'll wangle it some way. I can't do any work, so I'm basically going to have to head back up the Oxford once I'm done down here. Not far now. I mean, I'm coming down here because I have been told there are 48 hour visitor moorings.
this footbridge, I've been told, is about the limit from where available moorings start to get a bit tricky. And the two days, 25 quid thing seems to be uh, the run of the mill around here. But I'll go down to Ice Lock and turn round because I've been told that there are 48 hour moorings just before the lock. My word, I'm here. Wow. I set off to start filming season 10 at Marston Junction in the last week of July. And I started filming on the 3rd of August. It's now the 10th of October and I've arrived. Let's take a stroll in down to the lock here that can't be named then have a little wander around Oxford Ooh, very nicely kept along here just a shame the visitor moorings aren't up to the same standard This is the lock I didn't want to mention in the video. And is the lock that drops you down onto the Thames. And this is the start of the River Thames, which is under the stewardship of the Environment Agency. However, if you don't drop down onto the Thames and continue on along the towpath, there's the last remaining sort of 150 yards or so of the Oxford Canal. I usually do these like final walk arounds at the end of a season and it's typically you know what a great canal I enjoyed it very much join me next time blah de blah uh, this time however I'm gonna be uncharacteristically critical and that is to say that whilst the Oxford Canal is very very pretty very beautiful some quite stunning places along the way. The final 10 miles or so south of Thrupp, um, I have never encountered a canal uh, less willing and less able to accommodate those who pay to travel and enjoy its waterways. Uh, the mooring situation is a joke. And I'm now faced with a very real predicament of what do I do now? I still have a large number of episodes to edit. There's nowhere within 10 miles on the Oxford for me to moor up, say, two weeks um, with, you know, with a shop nearby. Whereas every other canal I've been on, you'll find endless visitor moorings yeah, and places nearby 
to survive for the fortnight. This here is the very end of the Oxford. Already an incredible stark contrast to the canal in a matter of 50 yards. A zero emission zone, but quite ironic that there's thousands of people exhaling carbon dioxide. Oxford, of course, famous around the world, not just for its universities, but also the place that despises the internal combustion engine. This place is crazy. I don't want to be all negative, but generally you are the place where you are. And uh, Oxford, I'm sorry, is somewhere I would not choose to be any longer than I have to. It's just not me, which is why I find myself gravitating towards uh, the quieter areas. As I say, I don't want to be negative. And I don't want anyone to take offence. But Oxford ain't me. That's enough of Oxford for me, and as I say, despite being a zero emission zone, I'm already getting a sore throat. <clears throat> yeah, no apologies. I pride myself on having built up a reputation for making videos which are you know, always real. Yeah, it might be good things, might be bad things, but it's always genuine things. And at the moment, I don't like Oxford. All the last 10 miles of the canal. That's it for season 10 then. And what has been one of the longest, if not the longest seasons I've ever done. I don't know the exact episode count yet uh, for this season, because you're watching this, but I'm still editing previous episodes. That's the way it works. But I'll put the total of episodes this season and total episodes of Travels by Narrowboat so far on the screen there.
as I say, I wouldn't normally sort of end a season with the criticisms of the canal yeah, and the area that I'm in. But as I say, this is real life. It's not some fairy land. Um, but that will do for now. Um, until next time, look after yourselves and uh, cheers for now. Narrowboat Wheel, I'm everywhere, look. This is Narrowboat Wheel. I'm just walking along back to Aslan, down at the lock here. And uh, who should be coming up through the lock? Famous. Then? Narrowboat Wheel. I'm fa dead famous. He's, he, he's, he's famous. famous, sir. Uh, look I'm, at me, I'm Mom. Famous. I'm on telly. I'm on telly, Mom. Look at me. <laughs> Good to meet you, buddy. Yeah. Give me thumbs up. <laughs> oh, yeah, give a thumbs up, right. <laughs>